W. Curtis Preston from Trivet TV here at CBIT in Hanover, Germany. I'm talking to Neil Kaus, the CEO of Geotab. So how are things going? It's, this is my first time in this hall. How are things going over here? Very good. It's been a great show. So Geotab, uh, I, I look behind me and I see that you do fleet management uh, solutions. And so it sounds like you're going to help people with, uh, with fleets of vehicles figure out what's going on. What kind of information can you, can you gather? So we do all, we break it up into four pillars. Um, the one pillar is safety. So we help uh, fleets run their vehicles safer. We make sure that people are safe. They're wearing their seatbelt. They're not driving too fast. Um, the, other, the other important pillar is productivity. So we can tell where they are, whether they're visiting their customers, whether they aren't visiting their customers. And then the final pillar is around the health of the vehicle. So we can tell if the vehicle has faults. We can tell the fuel consumption information of the vehicle, whether the vehicle needs tuning. If anything's gone wrong in the vehicle, we analyze all that information. And, and how do you gather this information? So the device is a simple plug and play device. You uh, take the device and plug it into the OBD port, which is a little port that every vehicle has. And uh, the, that talks to the engine computer. It has a GPS and uses a cell phone to actually send the information live back to a server which then analyzes and reports on that information. Yeah, in our, in our conversation before the interview here, that was the part I was most surprised by because I've seen similar devices, but there always seems to be this, and you need to pull it out and connect it to something in order to transfer this data. You're transferring this data not just uh, well, via, like you said, a cell phone connection, but you're doing this, this real time as the data is being created, is that correct? That's exactly right, it is real time, and we have very, very powerful software to analyze the data. So, uh, Pepsi as an example, they have 300,000 customers, and live they can tell which customers their guys are visiting, which ones they've missed, and it's all happening live as it's going, and they can redirect things and dynamically change their business as they need to. Yeah, that's so that, that's, a fascinating part about being able to figure out where they are and where they, where they're not. Um, uh, vehicles that are spending too much time in one location. Uh, you also talked about uh, the, another surprising one is that you said that you that the this computer knows when the seatbelt is fastened. Yes, because we talk to the engine computer. Uh, we can really get a rich set of information. Um, is the person wearing your seatbelt, do they have a passenger? Are they wearing their seatbelt? Um, you know, we can tell whether the airbag gets deployed in, a, in an accident, um, whether the fuel, the fuel consumption information on the vehicle is good, so the vehicle's running really well, or there's a fault with the brake system or anything else in the vehicle. So it really helps um, large fleets and small fleets you know, manage their fleet well and make sure that they get the most out of their fleet and their drivers. Yeah, I can imagine uh, that with a large fleet of vehicles, the, the um, level of concern that, a, that an individual driver may have for their vehicle would vary widely. Uh, you, you might have a very conscientious driver that would say at the end of the day, hey, by the way, I had an engine light. And then you probably have a much larger percentage that just really don't care less or maybe don't remember. Uh, but in this case, uh, you're saying you get an engine light, you get a check engine light. Uh, and, and not only would they know, but the headquarters would be notified automatically. I, I find that fascinating. What types of things uh, do people end up doing with that information? Well, they, they really use it to run their fleet. They can schedule a mechanic to have the vehicle inspected the minute it arrives back. They can reduce the downtime of the vehicle so they can get the vehicle back into service immediately so they need to have less spare vehicles available. Um, they, you know, they can make sure that they don't have breakdowns in the field. So it's preventative maintenance. So if a battery is going to go flat, they can make sure ahead of time that uh, they replace the battery instead of waiting for the vehicle to fail while it's out somewhere and then they've got to go and emergency, go and get the vehicle and do whatever. So I think it's a great tool for, for fleets to be more productive and, and UPS, you know, use it on 65,000 devices. Um, you know, it was actually mentioned that it contributed to their bottom line figures, being able to run their fleet so efficiently well, reduce the number of spare vehicles, uh, manage their organization better, it's directly contributed to the telematic system. So it really does make a difference in a business. Now, uh, a somewhat controversial use of this has been, uh, there was an article that I saw that talked about Enterprise Rent-A-Car in the U.S. Uh, and uh, the privacy concerns about collecting this type of data. But you had an interesting response that basically they're just collecting a certain type of data at this point. So it sounds like you can, you can limit the, the data that's being collected. 
That's exactly right. I mean, privacy is a, is a big issue, especially with consumers, where um, if they're renting a vehicle, they need to know that the, the information's private. Um, but there's valuable information in there. So what we do at a device level is we limit access to that information, you know, based on that requirement. So in Enterprise's case, it would be the VIN number that would be sent back, the odometer, so they can tell whether they need to service the vehicle, and if there's anything wrong with the vehicle or the vehicle's been involved in an accident. But outside of that, the consumer's information is then doesn't belong to Enterprise and it's completely limited. Yeah, it's, a, it's an interesting world where I can complain that I don't want Enterprise knowing if I'm speeding in their vehicle, but, but it, is the, it is the world that we live in. But it is interesting that you're able to limit the information based on the individual customer so that they can, they can get the, other, the benefit of the other things that you have without uh, the concerns that you have there. So just curious, I mean, is this, uh, obviously it sounds like you target the largest uh, fleets, would that be correct? That is right. I mean, our product and engineering is geared towards being, you know, very simple. The data uh, feed is very rich, and we designed it in with our relationships with the largest fleets to find out the information that they need. There are a lot of very small fleets using the product, but um, that's really where we specialize is in those big fleets. At what point, in terms of numbers of vehicles, does it make sense to put in a device? I, I assume there has to be some sort of server side aspect of this as well. So that must be. Uh, an investment. So at what, like at how many vehicles does it begin to make sense to put in a device like this? Well really it's a completely hosted managed solution. So um, it's really a case of going to a website, ordering one device, putting a credit card in, you get emailed a link, you click the link and it's all run through the web. You install the unit in your vehicle, it's plug and play and you're up and running. So while, you know, it, we, we the large fleets use us, it's really simple for a small fleet to get the benefits of all the thinking, the preventative maintenance, all the thinking that's gone into a large fleet system can run for a small fleet and it's very, very simple to use. You can get very powerful if you need to, but you can use it for, for the basic stuff as well and it's, and it's very inexpensive. So what is inexpensive? So the device itself, depending on the circumstances, could be $150, 100 euros, and then the monthly fee of you know $15 to to $20, depending on the circumstance. So, you know, very cost effective, and the benefit to the company is you know the productivity enhancement, the value in having their fleet vehicles running smoothly, looking after their staff, making sure that their staff is safer, they're wearing their seatbelts, they're not speeding, you know, is immense. Um, and uh, it really makes very big difference to the businesses that use the product, see us as absolutely strategic um, to their business, and, and that makes it really exciting. Yeah, that's fascinating. That you've got a product that's, that's designed for the large fleets and because of its ease of use, but you've actually designed it also to be able to, to, to down the smallest fleets. I, it is not often that I find that, especially in, uh, in the world that I play. So listen, I thank you very much for taking the time to talk today. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. And thank you for watching. Uh, this is W. Curtis Preston again from CBIT here in Hanover, Germany. Make sure to check out our other videos on TrueBit.tv.